everybody, Pedro here for PG's Continuing Journey Channel. And on this sensational Saturday, my workout today will be... I was, I was going to do Dance Off the Inches, Fat Burning Belly Dance with Keely Marti, but I was like, I got to mix things up a little bit because I did a lot of cardio with my walking while doing errands at the same time. I did a little housework and laundry, cleaned the bathroom, so... I managed to get some housework. That was my that was my cardio and a workout in itself right there. So I gotta get my strength tuning in. So today the, my workout will be so instead I should say it'll be it will be spark people's spark people total body sculpting with Coach Nicole. I miss the Spark People website. I don't know if that's still around today, but it, it was a great workout. We're gonna do the Sizzle, I, I forgot the name of the segment. This is one of the three. Wait, it's called Sizzle Scope Something. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll give you both on that. I'll have it here in my thing. I'll have it here in the comments. But in the meantime, I'm going to be using my light to medium waist for this because I got to get my weight training in there. All right, let's go to work. Hey. Arms down in front, hip distance apart with the feet for a basic squat. Here we go. Down and up. Three more just like this, getting ready to lift that weight and hold it in front of the chest. Bring it up. We're preparing for an overhead press as we squat. One more like this, then press and lower. Really lengthen those arms. Sit it back, weight in your heels. Keep breathing. Four more like that. Getting ready to hold those arms up. All right, let's take it up and hold. Continue with that squat. Coming up, we're gonna push this weight down toward our left hip. Two more just like this. All right, so we squat first, push it down, then to the other side. Just work through your own range here. Make sure you're bending the elbows. Coming up, we'll add a knee on the side where you're pressing that weight down. Here's four, three, two, one. Add the knee up, switch sides. Beginners can keep this a little tap on the floor. Four more. Oh, I'm doing the burn already. Two. Ready? Let's swing it up to the hip. Keep those shoulders down. Four more. Three. Two. That's one. All right, let's bring that weight into the left hand. Arm at the side. Oh my. Squat together. That was tough. Reverse lunge together. Here we go. All on this one side. You can make this as big or small as you need it to be. We're getting ready to add a hammer curl and a lateral raise. This time, tuck the elbow, then lift it up to the shoulder. Curl and shoulder. Good, keep breathing. We'll add some challenge coming up by making this tap into a knee. You can watch Lindsay for that. Here we go, add a knee, just to challenge your balance a little bit. Good, keep breathing. Just like that. Let's continue that arm movement. If you can, sink that weight down into your squat and hold. Last one. Step together. Now lunge and up. Get ready to hold it into that lunge for more challenge. Bring it down and hold. Continue the arm. Last two. Last one. Bring it down. Let's keep this leg back and just lengthen that back leg. One hand onto your thigh. Bring the hand underneath the shoulder. We're getting ready for a row. Here we go. Up and down. So that elbow points right back behind you. You've got the back lengthened. Four more like this. Coming up, we'll add a tap forward with the back leg as we row. Last one. Here we go. Tap and row and out. Make 
sure your back is straight here. Your shoulders are away from your ears. Four more here. You can keep it at the top or add a knee coming up. Here we go. Knee and out. Make sure you're breathing. Four more. Here's three. Let's get ready to move us up to temple, but back to a tap. Here we go. Quicker. We're trying to get that heart rate up. Beginners, you're just going to do the arm here if that's easier for you. Now with your knee if you can. Here's four. Three, two, one. Release it. Good work. Let's get ready for the other side. Oh, man. Pass the weight to the other hand. Get ready for the squat and the reverse lunge. Draw those shoulders up and back. Four, three, two. legs only to start. Squat, together, reverse lunge. Out. I keep my moments small. Just like that. And just small bends at the knee if that's what works for you. Let's add that arm with the curl. Then the lateral raise, shoulder and down. Keep that balance. One more like this for that advanced challenge. Watch Lindsay. She'll make that tap a knee this time. Gotta make sure you're breathing, chest high. But it's cardio and weight training at the same time. That's why what? Down and up. That's why I'd love to do this one. So one more time here, but hold it down. Arm only. Work at your level. Two. One, step together, lunge, hold, and up. Good. Four more there, hold it down. Last two. Last one. Release it. Let's get ready for that row. Lengthen the back leg, hand to the thigh. Arm is straight down underneath that shoulder. Here we go. Bring it. Yeah, I did the modifier for that last part. Really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Pointing the elbow back behind you. Four more, just the arm. Get ready to tap that back foot in. Last one with the arm. Here we go. Tap and out. Point those elbows back. Four more here. See if you can make this knee coming up. It's two. Last one. And knee up. Feel free to keep it at your tap. Keep that breath going. Four more slow. Remember, we've got tempo coming up. Feel free to stick with just the arm if you need to. Last one. Here we go. Tap it in. Quicker. Try to get that heart rate up. Four more here. Get ready for that knee if you can. For eight. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Get out. Stand it up. We've got to hold each end of our weight once again, holding it right in front of the chest. All on the left side, we're getting ready for a three-way lunge, starting forward. Ready? Here we go. Out to the side, reverse lunge. Hold it here for two, just pause again. And back, pause for two. Let's continue with the legs. That little pause is going to become two presses overhead, right here, up, down, up, down, forward, Side, back, two presses. Let's add some arms around the head, stir a big pot, tiny little circle, two presses. Watch that again. Big circles, down and up, two presses. Keep those arms going. On that press, let's add a tap out to the side. Here we go. Good. Forward, out. Down, tap. This time, if you can work harder, that tap will become a jumping jack. Oh, no, so I'm not doing that today. Uh-uh. No, you, thank you. Lunge it down, jack. I am not doing no jumping jacks with oh, six pound weights. Down. Sorry. She's going to add a little challenge here for the balance. Lifting to the knee instead of the tap each time. Last one. Out. Lunge it low. Two jacks. Good work. Let's get ready on this other side. Hold that weight in front of the chest. We'll step forward on the right leg. Here we go. Forward. 
side, back, just a pause, take a breath, here we go, side lunge, back, just a little pause, next time it comes back press overhead, and side, go as deep as you can in those lunges, two presses, one more, just like that, those circular arms are coming up, get ready for it, taking it in the opposite direction this time, here we go, around the head, Turn the quad, little circle, press and press again, just like that. Over the head, round, round big circle. Alright, continue those arms. Coming up, we'll add a tap with the right leg, right here, with your press. Again, forward, lunge it deep, down, two taps. Alright, coming up, adding on to this, if you can, let's make those little taps with Jack, right here. Again, and wide, and down, two Jacks, watch Lindsay this time, she'll add a little challenge for your balance. Instead of a tap, it becomes a knee up. <coughs> two Jacks, last time. Let's go for it. We did it! Woo! Oh, that was tough! Here we go. In four, three, two, one. Let's step back and tap. Hold that weight close to your chest. Still one? Let's add a cross this time. Up and down. Continue that. Let's make that tap a knee right here. And let's see if we can keep these arms lifted. Continue the legs. Working through that lunge as deep as you can. Four more. Coming up, we'll add a kick to this knee. Get ready. So we'll lunge, knee, kick, and bend again. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Two more. Let's continue these legs. Coming up, we'll add a little bend at the elbow to work the triceps. Here we go. Lunge. We're going to bend the elbows back and up. Lunge. Makes sense knee. to me. Working through those triceps. Let's try a few more here. Keep those elbows and upper arms close to the sides of your ears. Three more. Two. Last one. Bring it back to that knee and hold triceps only. Holding that balance if you can. Otherwise, tap the knee to the floor. Let's add the kick. Four, three, two, last one. And release it down. Oh my God. Again, other side, leaning back with your right leg this time. This is Here tough, this is a tough one. Down and tap. Keep your back nice and straight. Remember to breathe. Add that press right here. Tap. Coming up, that tap will become a knee if you can work a little harder. Here we go. Knee. One more time like that. Let's keep these arms up. Continue the legs with your knee or your tap. We're getting ready to add on where we do that little kick. Two more. All right, so it's lunge, knee, kick, and bend. Relax those shoulders. Two more times, just like that, before we add those triceps. Last one here. Hold that balance, here we go. Down, knee, bend the elbow, and in. Down, up, bend, and in. Relax those shoulders. Hold that balance, here we go. Lunge, knee, bend the elbows on your kick. Three more there. Here's two. Last one. Bring it back to that knee and hold, triceps only. Use that focal point, abs in. Two, let's get ready for that kick, just for four. Kick and in. Here's two. And one. Good, bring that weight down, release the foot. We're ready for the second weight now. Oh, wow. So we have one weight in each hand. Feet are hip distance apart for a deadlift. Coach Nicole, this, really this work I ain't no joke. As if they're going to scrape your legs. Woo! But I love it. Abs are in, shoulders back. Get ready, two counts lower, two counts 
up. Here we go. Down for two and up for two. Keep those weights right next to the body. Your back flat. Just bend as far as you can with a flat back. That's really important on this. Lengthen through the legs. Belly is pulled up away from the floor the whole time. Three more slower like this. Coming up, we'll take it up to tempo. It's a little bit faster. Last one slow. Ready? Here we go. Down and up. We're getting ready to add on to this. How about four more here? Coming up, we'll pull that bend forward and add a row. Get ready. All right, so it's bend, row, lower, and stand. Bend, row, lower, and stand. Keep that back straight. Pull your abs away from the floor. All right, next time we'll add a curl at the top. Two bicep curls, palms face away. Again, bend, row, lower, and stand. Two curls. How about two more sets just like that? Abs are in. Reach those elbows toward the ceiling as you row. Tuck the elbows right here for the curl. Last set through. Coming up after these curls, we'll bend it forward and do just the row. Ready? Down and row. Up and down. Good. Abs are in tight. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale on the lift. Now let's get ready to bend it over and hold as we repeat just the row. So we'll bend, row up and down. Abs are in. Leg through the back. How about four more there? Getting ready to stand up and work on just those curls. Two, one, lower. Stand and curl. On that curl. I used to do it in bicep curls like this. Four more. Three. Getting ready for a little cardio. Okay. Last one. All right. Let's bring the hands to the hips. We're going to do a little box step, leading with our left leg out of diagonal to start. Here we go. Diagonal, side, diagonal, back, other side. So diagonal, side, take it back, and side. A couple more there, just with the hands at the hips. If you need to, keep your hands right here. Otherwise, you're gonna add some arms. Let's bring them up, just like a W position. Small little pump. Palms are slightly facing the bottom. And you better believe I'm keeping this small. You can make this a little smaller. These are, although these are light, I consider these my light to medium dumbbells, I'm definitely keeping this move small. You know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, no thank you. Move your own range. Try to get that heart rate up. You should be breathing heavier here. Oh, I've been breathing heavy the whole workout. Maybe because you're not used to this. Good. Let's set this next one up. We've got our weights down to our side. Okay. Stepping back with the right leg for a curtsy lunge and hold. Get ready. Shoulders are back. As we step up, we'll those weights up. Ready? Here we go. Hold. Two. Three. Stand. Other side. Hold. Two. Three. And stand. Notice that front foot is turned out just a little bit. And tight. Here we go, other side. And stand. Let's add a little tricep extension this time. So we'll row, stand, bend, and stand. Row, lengthen, bend, and stand. Keep the back straight. You can bend over a little further here to work harder. Go ahead and try that, but only if your back is straight. Good. Breathe deep. And shoulders away from your ears. Coming up, we'll take it to that curtsy step and do just our row. Get ready. Row it up and down. Deepen the bend in the knees if you can. Bend a little further forward. Four more times. Get ready to step it to the other side. Here's two. Last one. Step, row, and tricep. Think about your pinkies reaching toward the ceiling behind you. Four more. Three. Two. Last one. Good. Stand it up. Hands to your hips. Last cardio session. Step touch to the side. Going to the left. Here we go. Step touch. Four more like this. Let's add those arms. Just take them up like a goal post. Hold it here. Coming up this tap will become a knee raise. Ready? Here we go. Knee. Hopefully 
your heart rate is elevating here. Let's try eight more like this. We're getting ready to rotate slightly, bringing your elbow toward your knee with one arm. Ready? Here we go. Twist. Think about that chest really working here. Using the abs. Eight more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Thank you, Coach Nicole. Thank you for watching. See you later.